Antarctica sea sponge might actually save the world from superbugs. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. According to an article that I read from geek.com, there is a breakthrough right now, a discovery of unprecedented proportions where a specific type of sponge that's off the coast in Antarctica kills 98.4% of MRSA-related bacteria. The sea sponge is called Dendrilla membranosa, and the new compound has been named Darwinoloid or Darwinolide. This is pretty incredible right here. Now, I do want to let you guys know also that a couple of years ago, the new scientist came out with an article titled Superbug Spied Off the Antarctic Coast. So not only have they discovered just some crazy potent bacteria out there that there's no modern antibiotics that can wipe it out, yet now they're saying that they've got the counter effect to that in this article from geek.com. Now, if you go to, I think, where they originally got this information from the day before, uh, this is on fizz.org. You can read about this. I'll leave the link to this also. And this just talks about how, essentially, they want to take this type of sponge, this sea sponge, take it to the lab and synthesize the process to make it effective on a industrial scale. And I think that's a pretty big deal because you got to think about this, you guys. There's stuff out there in the South Pole in the Antarctic that's been there for a really long time, frozen under, you know, who knows how many hundreds of feet of snow and ice. So they, there could be stuff under there that's 300 million years old, 3 billion years old. We really just don't know. So with all the political leaders and scientists and people that are being sent out there, I think that it definitely is starting to make sense why there's so much effort because not only could there be the keys to saving the world out there, but there could also be the, the protocols or the formulas that could destroy the world at the same time. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this area called Deception Island where there's actually a team right now of scientists that want to find these specific types of antibiotics and these certain sea life, etc. So this is called Deception Island. And as you can see, it's kind of close to the, that shelf that, that's about the size of Delaware there that's very close to just breaking off into the ocean, literally the size of Delaware. It's actually a little bit larger than the size of Delaware. Now, I want to read this article from the Latin America Herald Tribune. Right? I want to read a part of this to you real quick. Uh, a team of Chilean scientists in Antarctica are seeking antibiotics that can fight dangerous, multi-resistant bacteria that by the year 2050 could kill more people than cancer each year. The surge and spread of this multi-resistant pathogenic bacteria is currently considered to be one of the most serious health crises of the 21st century. Now, this is according to researcher Andres Marcoletta, and their potential impact is comparable to that caused by global warming or terrorism, the scientist from the University of Chile's biology department said. Now, last year... About 700,000 people died worldwide from infections caused by bacteria that is resistant to many currently available antibiotics. Now, if that trend continues by the year 2050, the, by, by the year 2050, these bacteria could kill 10 million people each year, according to estimates of the Spanish Society of Infectious Diseases and Clinical Microbiology. Wow, that's, that's fascinating. So with that said... I would definitely recommend keeping your eyes and ears open, ladies and gentlemen, to the latest updates on Antarctica because really at any moment, if they accidentally, let's say they, they're mining somewhere out there for precious metals, let's say that they crack open some 300 million year old piece of ice that has some type of virus or bacteria frozen in it and then it becomes airborne I'm hoping that they've got people out there that are keeping these things you know keeping these possibilities open to where they've got protocols safety protocols in order for it I certainly hope so 
So anyway, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord, and support our sponsors, getthetea.com for the best of the best in detox products and supplements. I love their products. Um, their D365 pills are awesome. I've got some nice and advanced, which is really good. I've got some new products coming in that are super good for your immune system. There's been a lot of people that I've talked to that are still dealing with flu-like symptoms and hardcore colds. Uh, you know, I, I wiped it out in about four days. So that's my shameless plug. Have a beautiful day. Question everything and be the change you want to see.